Now, of course, we know that riba is haram. When you go to university or you go and study, it's natural that, subhanAllah, sometimes the fee is very high. And especially if you have multiple children, you have four or five children, it's difficult to be able to pay all the uni fees. So they offer a hax loan. And what they tell you is that it's an interest-free loan, and you don't have to pay it back until you yourself working and you can own yourself and you pay it. And it's not transferable to your family. If you die or you're disabled, it automatically you know, wavers away. However, they fix that it's fluctuating according to the time. So if you took the loan, say, five years ago, 10 years ago, when you pay, they will indexation, what they say, they will inflation or indexation, whatever it is, they will have a look to the CPI of the time and they will give you a price that what is worth that money today. So hence, subhanAllah, although technical terms you can play around with, no matter how much you want to explain it away, the definition of riba is that when you give money, gold and silver, and today money is the substitute of gold and silver, you don't take an ounce more, irrespective of what the reason is. Because gold and silver can only be given back, mathal bi mathal, exactly the same. You can't take more, even if times change and even if things went more expensive. So call it what you may. You can change the name and technicalities, it still remains interest in the broad spectrum of the Sharia. Hence, you might get probably a fatwa that says, you know, it's fine, this, that. But looking at the rules and regulations and usul of the ulama and the fiqhi texts, definitely this is not permissible because it is riba. You know, that the kuffar can call it whatever they may. Same as, you know, your mortgages. Uh, certain people may call it mudaraba, some may call it musharaka. Some, by calling something, you know, a name, it doesn't automatically become it until, in reality, it is transformed. So, that is something that we need to be very careful of. Yes, if, alhamdulillah, people really live up to the name of mudaraba, and it's not just a contract that shows the mudaraba or a contract that shows the musharaka, but reality, the bank takes ownership of it and they share the risk and all these things take place, then they're living up to the contract, they're living up to the name. But calling something, that's why Rasulullah said before Qiyamah, people will indulge in haram, people will indulge in haram by changing the names. They will drink haram drinks but because they will call it a good name, they will drink it. They will eat haram food. But because it's certified by some unknown person, they will consume it. So just a certification, just a piece of paper. Today someone sent me a uh, contract, not even a contract, a, a, a certification from someone overseas about something and asked me, what do you say? I said, brother, unknown names in front of me, that's all you sent to me. And they're certifying something. I don't know, you need to send me the apparatus. You need to send me the contract itself. Without that, we have to see if it is living its Sharia terms or not. Today, subhanAllah, you can buy a certificate for $200. You can buy a certificate for $50. On the market, I can become a certifier. I pay $200. A year, whatever, I can become a certifier myself. There can be non-Muslims sitting under the disguise of a Muslim and certifying products, whether it means halal, haram, consuming things, or whether it is other products in the Muslim world because it's a big, big, big business. So we have to understand that we are going to the akhirah. We are going to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know, today there's a lot of problems in life. And then we want to ask why. Most of the people come to me, they say, Sheikh, there's ruqya, problem, please read for me something. Someone is making hasad on me. Someone is making black magic on me. Nothing comes right for me. Now, that is true. It's possible. 
But did we, I never still get one person in the world that came to me, Sheikh, I think I'm being tested because I have too much sin. We don't blame ourselves. We don't ever think that probably we doing something in our life, we are angering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why things are not going right for us. That never, I never hear anyone that came to me, probably something wrong in my life because I'm doing something wrong. People are not good to their parents. They make their fathers and mothers cry. Allah Ta'ala is going to put staggering problems in your life. People make zulam to other people. A person that makes zulam and makes a person cry, that person will never see happiness. Allah says, Haramtu dhulma ala nafsi. I have made zulm haram upon me. How can I make it halal for someone else? So these problems happen in our life sometimes because of we making zulm to other, someone else. We trying to suppress someone else's progress. Sometimes because, subhanallah, of our own jealousy. Sometimes because of our own malice in our hearts. Sometimes because of our, you know, subhanallah, the tears we bring to our parents' eyes. That is staggering us. Not black magic all the time. So subhanallah, we have to see halal, haram for ourselves. On the day of Qiyamah, the person that gave you that certificate is not going to stand in front of Allah. That's why they came to us as Manan Ashraf Ali rahimahullah. And they began to persist. We want this product halal. We want it halal. Here's the certification. Sheikh said, I'm telling you, it's not right. You want to go and watch. You want to go, then go. Then why you come here? You want to go to Jahannam, go. But don't come and climb on my back and jump in Jahannam. In a world, I'm not going to be passing this if I know from a shari'i perspective, it's not right. So you want to go and you can get a fatwa out there, well and good. But don't come and jump on my back into the fire. That's your own, subhanAllah, decision. So I'm not saying everything is wrong. There's, mashallah, people that are doing great work out there. But there's also a lot of things that are mutashabihat. And that's why Nabi Karim Sallallahu said, Al-halal ubayyin, halal is clear. والحرام بين الحرام is clear وبينهما مشتبهات and in between there is doubtful things stay away stay away so that is about hacks I gave you alhamdulillah the perspective and I gave you the dalil and the proof too